Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast and the problem reads identify the zero force paper zero force members in the truss and I will say and uh, determine determine okay the member forces okay and state whether in compression or tension all right uh, this problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics uh, statics uh, textbook 13th edition by rc hibella all right so we are going to find all the member forces and state whether they are in tension or compression. So to start with, uh, let's uh, draw the free body diagram. It's not always the case, okay? We can always work out a problem sometimes without working out the support reactions. Okay, I'm just doing this myself to just do all other works so that the problem is complete. All right, because I would go at joint D, I would find support reaction BD. I know the zero force members B, D, C, and C, B, all right? And we do have another zero force member, which is A, E. But let's find those after I've worked out the support reaction so that I explain, explain step by step. So I'll have A, X there. I'll have EX, EY, and let's find the support reactions. And like I said, uh, some problems you can do them without working out support reactions, depending on the number, on the members that you want to address. Okay. So summation of moments about point E equal to zero anti-clockwise being our reference uh, what do we have we have minus moment being caused by three so three by uh, the lever arm which is two um, and then we have a plus ax by 1.5 equal to zero therefore our ax is going to be equal to minus 3 by 2 divided by 1.5 gives us 4 kilo newtons then we have summation of forces in the y like so what do we have we have ey minus 3 equal to 0 okay therefore our ey is just going to be equal to 3 kilo newtons and then finally we have summation of forces in the x direction okay what do we have we have our ax okay plus ax equal to zero okay we have found already what ax is so we just replace ax here and once we've done so then we'll find that your ax is just going to be equal to minus four kilonewtons so we have ax equal to four we have EY equal to 3 and then we have EX the direction just changes but it's also equal to 4 like a X all right let's now do a check so we have member a a a D C and CB and these are non 
collinear members forming a truss joint at C. Two truss members forming two truss members that are non collinear, and when they form a truss joint, like in this case, we have a truss joint at C, which is created by non collinear members DC and CD. And at C, we don't have either an external applied force or a support reaction force. And because we don't have either of those, we can confidently say that member DC is equal to member BC, which is equal to zero kilo newtons. They are zero force members. Of course, there is another one which is a member AE. We'll come and work on that one when we come and get joint A, okay? When we, when we come and work on joint A, all right. For now, let's now begin to pick on joints so that we begin to work on these problems. All right, okay. Which other member is a zero force member here? Uh, this member, member uh, E, D, but we'll work on it. Okay, so let's take joint A for now. Let's start with joint A. Like we said, we are going to work on all the members. So we have about, I think, four zero force members. We have A, E, which we are going to work on later on, and um, D, E, okay? Because we're able to see here, right? If we took joint D there, we are not going to have any force in the horizontal to support this member ED or member force in ED. But we'll come to that later on. We are on joint A. Joint A, what do we have? We have this support reaction of 4 kilonewtons. And then let's say this member here. This member here is also in compression, which is AB. And then let's say this member is in tension, which is AE. This is all that we have here. So if we say it's summation of forces in the Y direction equal to zero, okay? So this proves to us that AE is in fact also a zero force member. All right. So then we have summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero. Okay, so we have a four minus AB equal to zero. Therefore, AB is just equal to a four kilo newtons. And since the sign has not changed, our assumed direction for AB is correct and is in compression. So we are done with the first case for that joint. We'll move on to another joint. Which joint can we pick now? So we found this, we found this. Um, let's go for joint D, okay? It's quite direct. Joint D, what do we have? Joint D, course this one was joint A. Joint D, we have a force, applied force of 3 kilonewtons. And then let's say this one here is in tension, which we know already to say it's going to be zero because we do not have any force in the opposite direction to equilibrate that internal force. And then let's say this member here, which is BD, is in compression, which is uh, BD. Right, and this is mem uh, joint D, okay. So let's apply the equations of equilibrium. Let's say start in the X direction. Okay, because we know that this other member here, even when we included DC is equal to zero, if you wanted that DC, we said DC is equal to zero, DC is equal to BC is equal to zero. And if you wanted to prove this, you can take joint C and then work it out. You find that both members are equal to zero, DC and BC. So I've included this, 
okay because somebody may be asking to say why didn't you include dc there it is we know dc is equal to zero so therefore dc de itself okay de is just equal to zero right if you sum summed up the equation in that direction de is equal to zero and then we have summation of forces in the y equal to zero going up in our reference uh, what do we have we have bd minus 3 equal to 0 and bd is just equal to 3 kilonewtons all right and the direction that we assumed is the correct one and is in compression okay so we are done with this one which other joint can we go for we can go for joint uh, B, no big deal, joint B, right, let me just create a boundary here, joint B, so let's go for joint B, joint B, what we have on, at that joint, there we go, wow, this one we said is BC is zero, okay and then bd we are just from calculating it is in compression and we say this three and then let's say this one uh, is in tension this one uh, let's call this one as be is the one that we're interested in and then ab AB, we just calculated it and is in compression, so it will be coming in like so. And we found AB is 4. And then the slope for this, the slope for this, this line here, this slope, we have the run of 2, then the rise of 1.5 okay so 1.5 by 2 plus 2 squared root of that then we have 2.5 there okay so we have a 2 we have 1.5 then we have a 2.5 there okay so let's find the components for be we'll have this one here this one is be uh, times uh, the run 2 divided by 2.5 and then we'll have another one this one there be that is times the rise which is 1.5 divided by 2.5 okay so we have all that information we can now begin to work we can begin to work we can start in the x direction so summation of forces in the x equal to zero what do we have we have a four and minus be times two divided by 2.5 equal to zero and therefore our be is just going to be equal to four divided by 2 divided by 2.5 and um, what do we have we have be equal to 5 kilo newtons and that assumed direction is fine it is going to be in tension okay and then summation of forces in the y equal to 0 going up in our reference what do we have uh, we have a 3 this one is a 3 okay so we have a minus 3 then we have a plus be okay by 1.5 divided by 2.5 equal to 0 and therefore oh we don't need to do that there right we can just prove right let's prove this 
because BA should give us a 5 here. Okay, so that is a 3 divided by 3 divided by should give us a 5. Great, so it's giving us a proof. This is just a proof. All right. So we have found all the members. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So we have DC, which is equal to a BC and is equal to zero. This is a zero force member. We have another a zero force member there, which is AE. Okay. And then we have a AB. Okay. And then we have another zero force member, which is a DE. Okay. And then we have BD, which is in compression. Okay. And then we have BE. Okay. Right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay, great. I think this is about it. This is really about it. We found all the zero force members, and there are four of them. And we've also included the other members. All right. Hope the video has helped. If it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing. Bye bye, and see you in my next uh, screen.